Hi, good afternoon and welcome to Cooking Uncovered. This afternoon I am making this delicious quinoa pilaf dish, which I'm going to serve for dinner tonight, of course. So um, the trick to this quinoa dish, though, is that I am going to add some uh, gaylan, which is a great, phenomenal green superfood, which is a cross between a Chinese uh, broccoli and a Chinese kale and some prawns at the end. So I just want to get started with this and I'll show you how to do it. So about one cup of onion, so just peel the onion now. You can definitely chop this onion by hand, of course, but I have my favorite tool ever that I keep in my kitchen at the ready and I'm going to use my, um, my mandolin because I just think it's just one of the best tools going. So I've, in this pot here, I have about three tablespoons of uh, olive oil. To that, I want to add about a teaspoon of coconut oil, which I've started using, and it's an amazing product for sure when you're doing this kind of a stir fry or a pilaf. So with your um, with your onion, I'm just going to actually mandolin it or shred it, slice it right into my pot. It's going to work really well. So that goes in, and then my second half of my onion and I want about a cup which is perfect so that's going to work really well for me. Let me just get a stir stick here. So I'm going to just slowly saute the onions until they're transparent. To that I'd like to add some yellow zucchini. Now it doesn't, of course, it doesn't have to be a yellow zucchini. Use any zucchini you want or leave it out but I just love the texture of sautéed zucchini. It's, it's amazing. So I like about half of this zucchini. So again, with my mandolin, I'm just going to grate it or dice it, chop it right into my pot. So because this is such a large zucchini, I'm not going to worry about my guard. But once I, if I was getting down to the end, I would really advise you to use your guard on your zucchini like this because you do not want to cut yourself, that's for sure. So that's about half the zucchini, so that's perfect. All right, now to that, I want to add about four cloves of garlic. Now, I've got this garlic from the farmers um, down on Southeast Marine Drive, and they're all fresh garlic, and they're wonderful. And I'm hoping this has, oh, it's worked. It pulled off the skin, this little rubber tubey thing that I use to sometimes to get the peel off. So I've got four beautiful cloves of garlic here, fresh, just out of the ground. And I'm just going to rough chop that up. Don't worry about it too much if it's too big or too small. And again, when you're chopping, make sure you keep your fingers out of the way. You do not want to end up with the end of your finger in your, in your pan, of course. So we're going to sa um, saute this. That's again with olive oil and one teaspoon of the coconut oil. Which, and this is an organic coconut oil and it uh, makes just the best flavor. So I'm going to just slowly saute that. Now, to that I want to add my ginger. Now, a trick. I keep, I keep my ginger in the freezer. And because I buy a big bunch and then I don't end up using it, it goes bad. So again, I'm just going to dice or my, man, my favorite mandolin. I'm just going to, whoops, whoops, just um, a little bit of this in. It would end up being about two tablespoons, and that is perfect. And see, it's just ginger, but I've frozen it, and it just keeps really, it's very convenient for us. All right, so that's going to saute away. And then, after this, after the onions are transparent, then we add the rest of the ingredients, we add the quinoa. So I'll just keep stirring this until the onions are transparent. Okay, so what we have here is the zucchini, the onion, the garlic, and the ginger in olive oil and a little bit of coconut oil, all saute and wind. This is what it looks like in the pot. Isn't that amazing? So to that, I'm going to actually add my fresh herbs. So what I have here, I have some thyme, which I want to add, lots of thyme. And I want to add some oregano as well. So I'm just going to pop that in. I'm not even going to chop it up. Just take off the leaves and pop in the oregano. And that's going to be, that's going to taste 
delicious. So what I would do is I would add about um, like a teaspoon of, half a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of oregano, which will taste really wonderful. All right, now you add your quinoa. I'm just using white quinoa, but I have red quinoa here, and it works really well. It's just that I haven't opened the bag, so I might as well use the one I've got open. All right, in goes your one cup of quinoa. And why it is a pilaf is because you want to coat the quinoa with the oils and the infusion of all that, those beautiful herbs and um, the garlic and the onions. So to that, I'm going to add whoops, sorry, a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. Good time to do that. And I'm going to stir that away. Now, once that's all coated, once the quinoa has all coated, and now this is what it looks like. See the quinoa is all coated. See how it's coated in? It's perfect. Now you're going to add your stock. I happen to have vegetable stock on hand, so I'm going to add that. And at the very end, after this is all cooked, so this, this will take about 20 minutes to cook. So I'm going to add my two cups of vegetable stock. This will take about two, 20 minutes to cook. But at the 15 minute mark, we're going to add our almonds, our prawns, and the star of the show, which is the Gaylan. Gay now I learned about this from my niece Tanya and it's absolutely wonderful. All I'm going to do, the last few minutes, I'm just going to chop it up and put it in. I'm not going to cook it. Now, the thing is too, you can substitute this Gaylan for kale. Our friends John um, and Barb have kale in their backyard. So Barb, use the kale. It'll be just great for this recipe. So we're just going to wait for this to cook up. It takes about 15 minutes, it'll be perfect. So what I've done is I have let the two cups of the broth infuse and now look at the quinoa. It's all light and fluffy and it's ready to go. So it's just on the last few minutes. So I'd say up to 20 minutes but it might be less. I think this has been going about 14 minutes. To this I want to add my chopped almonds. So now what I've done is I've just very quickly in the pan for about two minutes, I just toasted my almonds. So I'm just going to rough chop these. It doesn't have to be perfect. Of course, keep your fingers in. You don't want to end up with chopped fingers instead of almonds. So this is half a cup of almonds. I'm going to put that right in. I'm also going to put in my gaylan. So it's about one bunch. It ends up being about, um, cut off the ends of course, it ends up being about three cups of rough chop and it's absolutely delicious. So cut that up, just a rough chop is fine. And the top part that's not very nice looking, just leave that off. So three cups in it goes. This is the last two minutes of cooking. In that goes. And to add some protein, I'm gonna add one cup of prawns. Now, you don't have to add prawns to this point. You can add uh, enough, you can add no protein at all uh, because of course um, your quinoa fills in on that category but it really tastes really good. If you have some leftover fish go for that. So I'm just going to stir all this in and the last thing I'm going to do is just quickly um, juice in a half a lemon. Now one thing that I do when I get my lemons if it has a tag on it, I know I haven't washed it. But if the tag is removed, like in this one, I know that I've washed it and it's ready to use. So stir that up. We're going to wait for that. This takes will take about two, three minutes and we'll serve it up. So now my quinoa pilaf is all ready. And in the pot is my quinoa, the gailan, the prawns, and the almonds. And it's ready to go. So I'm just going to plate it. So here we go, onto the plate it goes. It looks awesome. Of course, if you want to serve this with another protein as well, it goes very well with anything. Fish, pork, uh, really anything. It's so delicious. And with this, I'm going to serve um, some little uh, corn on the cob that I have available and a nice daub of butter and some nice salt and pepper. And that's our dinner for tonight. So thanks for joining me on Cooking Uncovered. This is quinoa pilaf with Gailan, a super green food and prawns. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.